I want to talk to you this morning about the poison. About the poison that has come that we do not serve a supernatural God. We've been poisoned. We've tried to bring God down and make Him human, which He did. But even in His humanity, there's the supernatural element that is involved. I think it's an interesting story that all in life, the astrologers, the magicians, the enchanters, everybody that came to Nebuchadnezzar to interpret his dream, they're like, are you smoking something? Nobody can do this. You tell us what you dreamed, we'll interpret the dream. Logic. You tell us what you dream, we'll fake it, we'll tell you what the dream means. He says, no, that's faking it. I want you to tell me what I've dreamed. If you are who you say you are, then I need you to tell me what I've dreamed. And they're like, king, that's impossible. You're asking us to get inside your head and know the secrets of your thoughts and know the things that you've dreamed in the nighttime. No enchanter, no no magician, no astrologer can do these things. What you're asking is impossible. There's no human on the earth that can do this thing. This is a level that only the gods can play at. And I just want to ask you, are you willing to play on that level? Are you willing to take your life to play on the supernatural level? Or do you just want to play on the natural realm of things? The natural realm of playing is somewhere in your future you're going to bump up in something that's impossible. Somewhere in your future you're going to bump into something and have no answer for it. Somewhere in your future you're going to hit something and you're going to find yourself in an impasse going, what do I need to do here? And you're going to Google and Wikipedia and Yahoo Answers and WebMD and you're going to ask 5 million friends and you're going to read books on how to get past this impossible thing. But you will ultimately learn that there is no book, there is no medicine, there is no wisdom, there is no friend, there is no magazine, there is no Google answer because you've read it all and you've come to an impasse of impossibility. I cannot get past this thing. I can't get beyond it. It's because you're playing on the wrong playing field. The astrologers were comfortable to play on the playing field. Why? Because as long as you surround yourself with enough people playing the game, we can all fake it. We can fake it long enough that maybe the world won't know we're faking it. We can fake Jesus. As long as we get enough of us to fake Jesus, the world won't know we're faking it. But after a while, they look at us and we find ourselves in an impossibility because we bump into people who've been hurt and molested and broken and left hung out to dry and they're orphaned and they're abandoned and and we come with our religiosity and we say, well, here's the answer. And they're like, are you kidding me? That's not going to answer what I have to have answered. So the church is being a demand put on it to step up to another plane of life called the supernatural plane. The plane where only the gods play. The plane where only the angels reside. You're being asked to step up into that realm, into a supernatural realm, to where supernatural things begin to happen through your hands and through your mouth. Supernatural things. 